flashlight batteries. Sick. Oh, dead guy. Also sick. Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to more Alien Isolation. In the last episode, we got our entire ass handed to us multiple times over and over again by the alien. Uh, and it was not fun. Or was it? I don't even know. But we're gonna continue on and we're going to uh, do it right this time. Let's go. Have you found the passcode? Look, we'll One seven zero two. I wonder what that could be. You know, I think that the alien needs a name. Like, clearly the alien is just scary. It's just, you know, it makes you, it conjures up images of the alien. You know, in a whole, like, scary kind of thing. I think we should name it, though. I think it'll make it less scary. Should be named, like, Cecil. Cecil the Alien. Go get it. Hopefully, Cecil the Alien will go after... that thing. Alright. We're coming back in here. And everything's gonna be fine. And you know what I just realized? Emergency override. We can lock the doors. Take that, you fucking alien. Leg have an ass land, bitch. Collect scrap, cool. Oh, this is where he chased us last time, wasn't it? Oh, this is cute. I'm sure no- oh, I, yeah, I remember this. He's nearby. But everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, you hear me? I hear a clip clomping around. But I'm not gonna use my motion tracker yet, because the motion tracker... He ends up knowing where, the mo where we are based on the beeping from the motion tracker. So we're not gonna use it. Simple as that. Everything's gonna be fine. Take your little slithery little tail and just buzz off, Cecil. I think that number in the bottom left shows how far away something is. In the bottom left of the motion tracker. I can also tell how far away something is based on the musical cues. Yeah, it's right, like, in that room, over there. I think it just went into a vent. But it still says that it's over there. Odd. Yep, investigate the rooms on his rounds. It's above me. Or it was. Oh no, that was where he tried to hug me. 
but everything's gonna be fine. We're not going to go in. He was in the fence. Oh, yep. I see him. I see his little gangly legs. Yeah, bitch. I sees you. I sees you. Yeah, that's right. Run away. He's not far away enough yet where I think that I can run. Ow! I just smacked the underside of my table. <laughs> yeah, now he's traipsing down where I need to go. He's real far away now, though. He just fucking ran. Good old Cecil. I should have memorized the names of the things again. I'm just going from locker to locker, pretty much. Scared in one location, to scared in another, to scared in another, to scared in another. Oh, he's very close now. This is the same fucking position we were in last episode. <laughs> but I will get past this. Alright. This again. Yeah, that's right. Get stuck in the door, you big meaty bitch. I swear to God. Cecil's just so clingy. Yeah, he's right out there still. You didn't see shit. You didn't see shit. You got weird, like, vents on your back. What the fuck is the purpose of those? Fucking weird ass alien. Alright. Well, hopefully he went bye bye. He didn't go bye bye. How am I supposed to get past him if he's just constantly right there? Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get the map. There's no way that the alien can see on the security cameras, right? Like, that would be stupid if they could do that. Now we need to find rooms on these rounds. There's a oh, oh, exclamation point thing there. Oh, that's a map thing. Oh, pipe bomb. I guess if I missed it the last time. So, surprise, surprise, he's right where I need to go. I know this is real shocking to you all. Ah, oh, fuck. Think I found him. Well, we found Morley. Now we need to return to Kuhlman. If we can survive. And the alien is very close. Y'all can hear that, right? Hold on. Yep. We're still recording. Alright. We must be fine. I hope to God that we are fine. We're not fine, we're not fine, we're not fine. 
If I die and lose my progress now, I'm gonna be incredibly salty. Shit. Oops. Nice, and he's got big hands too. Ah. I wish that there was a way to have Ripley open up these fucking doors more quietly. The fucking motion tracker didn't even beep. This is bullshit. Now we're back where we were. Only took us 30 years. I really wish that she would learn how to close these lockers quietly. Because she doesn't know how to do that right now. Alright. I think we have a way out. I think, I hope, I pray. That's gonna make a noise if I fail. Things that make noises when you fail alert aliens. Just gotta get back to Coolman. He is most certainly not a Coolman, but his name is Coolman. Get over into the locker. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. I finally got to save, so I don't have to do all that over again, again. Can I please lock this? Damn you, Coleman! You knew that thing was here! Now that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. I don't trust him in the slightest. I don't trust him at all. He's gonna use the code. There's two people. Quick save again. Just to be safe. Oh god, I hope we're still recording. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. I do not trust like that. I'm gonna assume that I was fucking alien. I swear to God, these aliens are just constantly getting on my case. Piss off, you gibbon. 
get to San Cristobal Medical Facility. Keep moving slowly and carefully. That's sure as hell what I did. I definitely moved slowly and carefully. Find a trauma kit. Let's just save again, just so I don't have to live through that. Also, I thought, like, Coolman was gonna betray me or something like that. No, he just straight up got murdered immediately. You don't have to do anything with your characters if you just kill them off immediately. Fucking shit. So it's in here with me. Which I suppose is about what I fucking expected. Great, all these things are locked, and I have to get into the butthole vent. No, I can't. Okay, how do I turn power back on so I can get into the butthole vent? Did I miss something? Door locked. No doors are locked to me. Oh wait, stun baton. There's no way this will work on the alien. Stun baton collected. Oh cool. Oh I bet that's what the charge packs are for. I wondered what those were for. Yeah, he's out there. Alright, fine, fuck it. I'll fucking read the terminal. No problems there. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of the Marshall investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshall Waits will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion, and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office, Lingard, senior medical officer. Frank, your concern about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you an evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the welfare of the living while you seem more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature, and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Get just get out of there ASAP. Lingard. Activate cooling system. Cold room inaccessible due to extreme temperature. Oh, did I? Engage coolant. Well, this sounds smart. Can I get... There's no other coolant here. Oh, there's a thing of coolant in there. Alright. Ice, ice, baby. Everything about this makes me feel exceptionally good. Alright, now I can get in there. Coming for that vent. Don't know, don't care. Access rewire. I'll turn off the turn on the vent access. Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Believe you me, pal. If I could hurry, I would. And I gotta go in the butthole vent. Fantastic.
Well, hopefully they wouldn't put me into a situation where I had to run in the vent. Because there's no way I could. Like, I'd have, I just wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Also, why are there ladders in the vents? Or are they not vents? Maybe they're just maintenance shafts. That makes a lot more sense than them being vents, actually. Well, this is scary looking. What is it with medical places and always looking like they're about to be filled with murder? Flashlight batteries. Sick. Oh, dead guy. Also sick. Nice. Oh shit. There's a guy. And he wants me dead. There's a guy. And he wants me dead. There's an alien running round. He wants me dead. Lost and found. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Please, is there a place for me to hide? <laughs> okay, I think this is... Yeah, this might be where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> which is shocking to me that we actually got there and I didn't even intend to. You know, I feel like a weight has been lifted now that I don't have to do that shit over and over. Access terminal. Personal, dispensary is empty. Message for Lingard on her return. I've prepped the patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best I can before Waits locks the place down. I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. This dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or elsewhere on station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news. Foster C. Death. Poor Lingard. What? This is Lingard. The senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to... placed under duress with regards to my patient zero and ransom season's head of operations he he made certain threats for my career and my certification i want that on record god that woman needed help i didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered but it had planted something inside her I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Well, nothing about that is good. Search operating theater for trauma kit. Staff galley. Oh, my lord. I'm hoping that the alien doesn't like fire. I'm really hoping that the cat any alien uh, I'm really hoping the alien doesn't like fire. Faculty facility administration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. Please, please, please. Yeah, bitch, I'm a master hider. I'm the best. 
everybody knows it. Everybody knows that I'm the best. Key card required. Find key card to access San Cristobal medical wards. Gosh darn it. Jump through some more hoops, why don't you? Ooh, savey do. Save do 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 do. Oh wow, there really are hostels nearby. Molotov. Well, he's right out there, so let's just take a little quick read. Dr. Morley, I don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of San Cristobal now. You know what we've set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means for the patients who came back. That one's kind of on me. I think that one might be a little on me. I guess the alien doesn't spawn in the same place every time. Uh, I know what you set up in there, and I'm truly sorry for what it means that the patients can't be moved, but this is the only way. There'll be no further warnings. Marshal waits. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with them, and my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's central wards, the code is 2505. Lingard. It's fast with medical teams, field hospitals to deal with the ongoing crisis. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and Chief Executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshall Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want it. Damn it. <laughs> Hopefully you all read that. <laughs> so, we're gonna hide in this locker, and uh, unfortunately I've been recording for about almost an hour now, so this is gonna be fun to chop up. Uh, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, any of which would mean the world to me. And I hope that you all have a very good day. Bye bye <laughs>